from somewhere in Hollywood. It's the, 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 the Tom Micah Show. Oh, my God. And now, and now, here he is, Tom Likas. Thank you for tuning in to the Tom Likas Show. This is where America gets together to talk about the issues you really care about. It's a different kind of a radio talk program. We're the radio talk show that is not hosted by a right-wing wacko or a convicted felon. No! I am your host. Write down our toll-free telephone number. You're going to need it. It's 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. Thank you for tuning in. Thanks for being part of our program. Here we are together again on the radio. Here in the studio, the place I love most. The place I have the most fun. And uh, because I have so much fun here every once in a while, I like to do something that uh, is probably more fun than anything. And that is I like to face all of the people who hate me. (laughs) I just love it. It's been a while since we've done this. And every once in a while, I like to demonstrate the fact that I am the one and only radio personality, maybe in the world, certainly in the United States, who devotes entire hours of the program talking just to the people who hate me. People who disagree, people who don't like the show, people who don't like what I stand for, people who don't like the principles espoused on the program. Many of you get very, very angry. We get nasty email. Really nasty. And some of the phone calls, some of you people are just out of breath. You're so angry. So every once in a while, we take an hour like the one you're about to hear. And we say thank you very much to all the fans who are calling in, the sick fans, the cult followers, the freaks, the people who follow 101 to the letter of the law. We say goodbye to all of you for an hour. We tell you, don't don't leave the radio. Sit back and listen. And here are the people who absolutely hate me. Dean J. D'Amelio, our bouncer, he has the hardest time when I do these hours because he has to hang up on literally 99% of the people who call me. He has to hang up on 99% of them. Do you know why he has to hang up on 99% of them? Because they're calling him to try to say, we love you, Tom. We don't care how much people hate you. We love you. And, and he has to hang up on those calls. It's hard to let them go. We'd like to have them here. We'd love to talk to them. But uh, in order to do this right, we have to say goodbye to them for this hour. Which frees up the phone lines for those of you who really, really hate me. Now, whether you are a woman who is angry about the things I espouse on the program, maybe you feel like it directly affects you, whether your name happens to be Brian Whitman, whether you're somebody who politically disagrees, whatever it is, whatever reason you hate me, this is that golden opportunity for you to call in and express your hatred directly at me. And I love nothing more than to hear what you have to say. Those of you who really hate my guts... I love when you call me. I love hearing it. And I love letting the rest of the audience hear it because I've got big brass balls. Nothing scares me. Nothing makes me wilt. You think I wilt in the face of you calling in? Forget it. Now, you may know people who hate me. You might have to call them at home. You might have to call them at the office or in their car. You might have to say, hey, now's the time to call in. Tom Likas is, is letting it, the haters call in right now. This is your opportunity if you really, really hate me. If you mildly disagree or occasionally don't like something I do, not good enough. Dean will screen you out. We're talking hate here. We are talking unabashed, unadulterated hatred. 
You really, really, really hate me. Now, because Dean screens out so many calls, that frees up the majority of the phone lines for you, the hater. You may have tried to call in. You may have tried to get past the screener at some point in time. You may have done that. But during this hour, it's different because so many of the people who love the show have been eliminated. So we can guarantee you will get on the air. Unlike any other time. I mean, it's a golden opportunity. And if you think you're smarter than I am or funnier than I am or more moral than I am or you think that uh, you know more than I do, you think you can beat me in an argument and you hate me so much, you will never have a better opportunity to call me than right now. And all you do is call us here at 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. That's all you have to do is call 1-800-5800-TOM, and you will get in. In fact, I guarantee if you call before I finish this sentence, I guarantee you'll get through. No busy signal, nothing. Because Dean has hung up on all the sycophants. He's hung up on all the fans. And that leaves the space for you and you alone, the true Tom Likas show hater, the true Tom Likas hater. So if that's you, I'm guaranteeing you admission. You just call me now at 1-800-5800-TOM. It's 1-800-5800-866. If you really hate me, Dean will let you through. And he's not screening out any haters, but you have to get on the air. There's no cursing because we are on the air. No cursing. That's not my rule. That's the federal government's rule, okay? As much as you hate me, you can't call up and use obscenities to express that hatred, okay? And you know what the obscenities are, the F word, the S word, the C word. You, you know the words. T word. Yeah, Tom, right. So, uh, okay, here we go. one 800 800 tom If you really, really, really hate me, this is your chance to tell me so. Sean on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hello. Yes. Uh, listen, Tom, I, I think you're totally off guard here. I mean, I've been married like 25 years and 28 years. And, uh, you know, I love my wife. She won't let me listen to your show. I have to listen to it on the way she home. She won't board. let I, you listen. What a happy marriage. Your wife tells you what to do. Well, she doesn't tell me what to do. She does. You just said she won't let you listen to the show. I respect her opinion. That's all. No, no. She tells you what to do, and you do it. Uh, no, no, no. You I just don't. said she doesn't let you listen. Well, maybe I used the wrong term. Uh, Does she let you listen? Well, not if she's in the car or at home. No, I. Well, why is that her decision? If you're driving, it's you, you're the captain. Yeah. Well, besides that, uh, you're the king of the castle. I don't agree with how when you talk about how to treat your wives and get different bank accounts. You know, I share everything with her. I got a bank account. She wants to go spend five thousand dollars on weekend. I That's because care. she has the balls and she wears the pants of the family, and you're a pussy. I'm a what? A pussy. No way. Oh yes, you are. No, I'm not. Well, if she goes out and spends five thousand dollars anytime she wants, and you have nothing to say about it, you're a pussy. Uh, no, I mean, I, I can spend the same amount of money if I want to. It's not the I, point. If you don't think that the family should be spending $5,000 as the man who earns most of the money, you should be putting your foot down. But you can't because she runs the show. Well, okay. But she also makes me very happy. Oh, because you love being told what to do because you married Mommy. Uh, well... So she looks like my mom a little bit, <laughs> but and, she, and she acts like her too. I don't, uh, never thought of that before. Yeah, mm. you know, but uh, yeah, I, I can't see getting a different checking account. I can't see hiding money from her. That's not an honest marriage. It just isn't. I didn't say hide money from her. Your money should be yours, and her money should be hers. I, uh, uh, well, yeah, but she she wouldn't go for that. She just wouldn't go because for she's that. the boss. Meow. Uh, uh, oh, yeah, I mean, what do you suggest? You, I, I should go down tomorrow and take all my money out and put it in a different account. Well, you're never going to get away with that. Mommy would never approve that. Well, the point is, you've already let the genie out of the bottle. I mean, if I. 
add, then that's going to destroy the whole marriage. You, you know, had the power going in, but you didn't take it. Okay. And now, now you're being run roughshod, for God's sake. Tom Likas. 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. I said, what's the problem here? What's, what's going on? She says, I didn't have an orgasm. That's it? I looked at her. I said, you know what? It's not like there's a flag on your ass that goes up when you have an orgasm. <laughs> the Tom Likas Show. One eight hundred five eight hundred. Tom is our telephone number. I just sat out with Dean out in the screener area, watching him screening calls. Hundreds of calls he's hanging up on. They're just not haters. Oh, we're getting to the really good ones here. One eight hundred five eight hundred. Tom, this is Heather on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, Tom Likas, this is Heather. I have a beef with you. Uh huh. There are two things as to why I consider you a hypocrite. I think you send a very good message with telling men to keep it gloved. However, a couple months back, before you moved to your new spot, you told men to call in telling you and other men how to get women drunk the fastest and the best way to get them laid. And you really think if those men are drunk, as are the girls, that they're protecting themselves? Nah. So when people come I do it. Saying, oh, Wait a minute. Man, I do it. I do it all the time. Yeah, I know that, but I think that's sick, and I've listened to you. What's sick about it? The first time I was like, dude. What is sick about it? You. What is sick about it? Well, it's sick because, like, I'm a lady. I'm 25, I got a good man, and, you know, I don't, I don't even have kids or nothing like that. You know, and I, I agree, man. People that doesn't people explain are. what's sick. I don't understand what's sick. Because, you know, you have women coming up and just spreading their legs and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. You, to men you got a, you got a problem? You got a problem with women spreading their legs? I think it's great. Yeah, you know, and that's good for some people. But you're also saying, you know what, I'm not with a woman because I can't find a respectful one. And so when you get men to let their women get damn drunk, of course they ain't going to find no respectful woman. And that is the truth. Get your now, woman the drunk, is, then get laid. Fantastic. That's why, that's why alcohol is so popular. No, yeah, I understand that. But it's also the reason why we got a lot of little kids running around here with no pops. And I've been in that situation. Well, all too. I can say is when I drink, I use a condom. And I tell the guys to use a condom no matter how much they're partying. And that's the bottom line. I, I've made it to this age with no kids. None. As have I. Yeah, but dear, I'm a little older than you. Point is, no, absolutely. no matter how much I, I party, I no matter how much I party, I use a condom. That's it. End of story. That's what the other men should be doing. Well, and unfortunately, it doesn't happen. No. And I think the more and more you bring people out saying, you know what? Hey, watch I'm your gonna... mouth. We're on the air. I'm sorry. No, I'm, I'm you know, it, I am sorry about that, sir. I am very sorry about that. You don't make your and... point by using obscenities. Okay, I get you. I understand that. So I just want to say that, like, if you keep just, I mean, I, I get your message, man, and so I'm not a total hater. But come on, telling people how to get drunk, getting their girls drunk, and then saying, "Do that." It works. Man. I mean, some of your listeners. It works. It. When women get soused, they drop their inhibitions and they have sex with you. Man, that's just—it's not the way to do it. That's the way it is. It's Why do you think they have happy not hours? Not Why do you think they have ladies' nights? Why do you think they have happy hours? What do you think they're doing? The, the reason there's happy hours and ladies' nights is to get the ladies south so we can have our way with them. Yeah, and I get it. And that's it's very sick. effective. Sick. It's sick. And it's sick? Because, no, it's because... It's one of the know, oldest it's... traditions out there. Well, <laughs> I feel you, but it's like, you know, if you feel this and tell people, you know, you know, having a good time is a good time. You know, Mr. Likas, I totally understand that. But, you know, you also preach, you know, freaking get rid of your, get rid of the kids. If you get a knocked up and all that kind of well, stuff. Well, and the girls have that exactly. Jägermeister, they will do absolutely anything, anything. 
You know, and that's that. I'm sorry for those ladies because I'm a respectful one. Well, as a man, I'm glad those ladies are out there. <laughs> yeah, you would be. Yes. I also, also have one more thing to say to you. Why do you always, always complain about fat women and how unhealthy our American system is? Because I can afford the best. I can afford the hottest chicks out there. That's why. End of story. Fat chicks are for poor guys. Bottom line. Haters only here. 1-800-5800-TOM. This is Jesse on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Yes. Yes. Okay. I'm just going to ask you something. Tell me. Do you have a mother? Well, I had one, but she died. Oh, she died. Poor thing. Wait, how old you was when she died? Uh, she died nine years ago, so I was 42. Oh, you're pretty old. Okay, mm. do you Ooh. have a sister? Ooh, yes, I have two sisters. See? But do you know every, everything you decide for each woman, the way you're talking, is over your sister, right? Everything. What it, what, you're what lucky you, because your mother died. I'm That's lucky. I'm you lucky because wait. I'm lucky because my mother died. Yeah, because yeah. If, if she, if, if, I believe if she can hear you the way you're talking. My yeah. mother heard me on the radio before she died. She know what kind of show I do. Two. Okay, that's what you say. I don't know. Okay, but my mother know, was on. By the, the way, by the way, the by the way, anything, by the way, anything. by the way, by the way, you probably weren't listening back then. My mother was on this show many times. Mm-hmm. People who've been listening since my mother was alive, they know she was on the show. Okay, the way you 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 you're talking about girls is pretty bad for me. What? Right? Because I'm a girl. Yeah. And, and I say, I don't know. You don't have any single respect. Any respect for girls, or little, or whatever. I don't have respect for anybody until they've earned my respect. No, no, no. You have to yeah, be yeah, a gentleman. Yeah. You have to be a gentleman, you know? I don't have to be a gentleman. I, uh, yeah, that's what you say. That's right, because you don't have a mother. That's why you're not a gentleman. No, and it has nothing to do with it, dear. Let me tell you something. Gentlemen, I'm, I'm going to write a book. It's called Gentlemen. I'm going to write a book, dear. It's going to be called Gentlemen Don't Get Laid. And that's the truth. Yeah, right. Okay. But everything you do, you're going to pay with your sister. Let me tell you that. I'm going to pay with my sister? Why is that? If you die today, if you die today, for sure, you just go to hell. And let me tell oh, you Oh, I'm going that. to hell? You're gonna, really? You're going to die today, tomorrow, or any single day. You will die. And for sure, you will go to hell. How do you know that? Because I know that. Are you God? No, I'm not a God. How do you know I'm going to hell? I just tell you. How do you, you know I'm going down, to hell? Right down, I want you to tell me how you know that. You just said I'm going to hell. How do you know I'm going to hell? You will, you will go to hell. How do you know? I just tell you the You truth. don't know who's going to hell and who's not. If, 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 yeah, if you don't... You have no idea who's going to hell. Of course. No, you don't. Unless you your name... Go. Unless your name is God, unless your name happens to be God, you don't know who's going to hell. Wait, everything you do is... And I'm an atheist, I don't believe in hell anyway, so it's irrelevant. Everything you do is devil way. It's what? You, you hear me? It, everything it's, I do is what? It's the devil way. It's the devil's way? Wait. Really? How do you know? Because it is. How do it you is. know that? You always talking shit. Every single people, girls and women, that's true. Yeah, you can't talk like that on the air. No, no, no. You take your filthy mouth and go home. Filthy mouth. You're, who are you to be talking on God's behalf and saying that I'm going to hell? You and your filthy, disgusting, obscene mouth. F you. Unbelievable. Haters are really angry. This particular segment here. One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom Laney on the Tom Likas show. Hello. How are you? Great, and don't curse. I, I know. You know what? My mama raised me right, and it's a lot. It takes a lot more intelligence to insult somebody than to. I know. To I've curse. won the argument the minute these people start cursing at me. I love it. <laughs> I know you do. I have one serious issue with you. I, and I don't hate anybody, but I, and I don't wish anything well, Ill will on you. But 
If you say that a woman who is 5'8 and 140 pounds is too heavy, you are out of your mind. I was a college athlete. I'm in, still in great shape, and I still have plenty of men who find me physically attractive. I think that it's completely irrational and that you perpetuate this myth that women can be ungodly thin and healthy. We're not looking for women to be ungodly thin, but we're not. 140 and 5'8 is too much. Are you kidding me? No. I was a college athlete. I have 12% body fat. Dear, you haven't been in college in a long time. I maintain the same figure and the same weight that I had. Well, says you. On the phone, everybody's in bathing duty. Everybody. I'm sorry? On the phone, everybody's in bathing duty. You don't believe me? I'll give you my MySpace page and you can take a look. Darling, why don't you just send that right in? 1 800 5 800 Tom is our telephone number. These are the haters. Rebecca on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Here I am. Hello? Yes. Hi. Hi. How are you doing? Like you care. Uh, no, I, I don't. But you know what? I'm not a hater. I, I'm a lover, but I, I don't. Like, what do we say about cursing on this program? Mm -mm. Now, let me tell you something. I didn't mean to. This is a federal law. And I'm when you sorry, curse, you've too. automatically <laughs> lost the argument. I knew I was going to do that. Yeah, well, I if you knew you were going to do it, you should have refrained from calling in because you're not allowed to do that on the air. And so now what? Goodbye. That's what. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. Tony on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hey, Tom. How are you doing today? Fantabulous. I'm glad. Well, I I hate to say this. I listen to your show every single night driving home, and I I hate you, and I'm sorry to say that. Well, if you uh, hate me, why do you listen every single night? Oh, I love your show. It's right, right to the point. I mean, you lay it out the way it should be laid out. But this is this is this is why I hate you. Women are like cattle, and you treat them like cattle. Do you lead them around and and exploit them and take advantage of them? And women shouldn't be treated that way. I, I feel like they should be treated somewhat of a, an equal. Why? Well, why should they be treated as an equal? Well, it's just humanity. They're humanity. Human beings. They're they're human beings, and. You should look at them as they're human, human beings man. who want your money. They want to spend your money, and they want to tell you what to do. Right. Let's like I said, they're. Why animals. would I? Re why would I respect that? Well, you wouldn't go out and just kick a cow, knock a cow over, and beat the hell out of it. There's compassion. Depends in this on world. if I needed a, a beef tenderloin that evening. Oh, <laughs> uh, you know, I I just feel like. You treat women as lesser than an equal, and well, they certainly are not equals intellectually, and those who are generally I not agree. attractive enough to want to have anything to do with them anyway. I agree. I agree. See that? And uh, yeah, this is this is what bothers me the most is I feel like you take advantage of that. I take advantage of it. How so? Well, okay, they're. You know what they want and what they're after, and it's just like you want sex. So That's right. You, excuse me? I want sex. They want money. Right, right. Actually, they don't know. Well, I don't know. I just um, I just feel like you don't treat them as, as equal. I don't see them as equals. They're not intellectual I don't, I don't think, equals. I, I'm, I personally don't think they're all after money. Well, they're not I, because the fat and fugly ones can't get money from a man. <laughs> That's true. They usually get smart and earn their own money. They have and to then, because no man will ever pay their of, bills, as you know. Yeah, well, they take advantage of guys who can't earn their own money. See, I think you agree with me a lot more than you want to admit. Yeah, well, okay. Can you take me out John Denver style? John Denver style. You are a regular listener. Here you go. <laughs> John Denver style. That was a plane, and it crashes into the water. We don't have that. We probably called it something else. Use JFK Jr. style. It's kind of the same thing.
Actually, I don't think he went into the water, though. I think it was like Payne Stewart style. He kind of crashed into an open field, didn't he? We, we, we had that as Payne Stewart style at one time. Do we have that? And we'll have to go through. We'll have to see <laughs> where Brett left that stuff. Well, there we go. Yeah, that's more like it. Yeah, John Denver style. Is that dogs barking in the beginning of that sound effect, by the way? Did you notice that little sound at the beginning of that? Play that again, Art. Sounds like a dog barking. I don't know what that is. <laughs> I don't know. All right, we're talking only to the haters this hour. If you are a hater of me, of the show, of what I stand for, of what the callers stand for, of the content of the program, if you're a hater, dial now. Tom. 1-800-5800-TOM. 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 I was driving and was listening to the show and just cracking up at all the stupid, ridiculous comments that these women are making. They set themselves up for you to insult them because they're stupid. This is the Tom Likas Show. From Hollywood, the Tom Likas Show. The only show with the big brass balls big enough. To talk to the haters, the detractors, people like you. Lisette on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hi, I've never heard your show in my life. I just was passing by uh, a couple of radio stations on my radio, and I was listening um, to a couple of things that you were saying. It just amazes me. And here's my question. Were you not hugged enough as a child by your mom? Is that uh, I thought you were going to tell me why you hate me. That was the purpose of this. I Actually, I, you know, I don't know you enough to hate you. I just think it's hilarious that you demean women so much. In just a How have I demeaned years. anybody on this program? And I don't understand what the previous guy calling. I know he was trying to fend up for us, but what's the deal with comparing us with cows? I don't, I don't know. I don't understand that whole thing. Take about a look around. Us. No, no. Yeah, I guarantee you that wherever you are, you could tell me um, and I will pass by and you will drop your tongue at what I look like. And I and, and I weigh more than 140 pounds, and I'm 5'8". I guarantee you that. I doubt it. I, you, you, I 100%. I guarantee you. I Why guarantee don't you just send us a photo? We'll put it on our website. We'll let the absolutely. audience be the judge. I will do that. I will absolutely Sure you will. They never do. <laughs> yeah. But what is it? Is it that? Is it that your mom didn't hug you enough? Is that it? What? I don't, do you think you're a psychiatrist or something? No, I'm not. I just am wondering what's all this women hating thing. I, about. I don't. Yeah, I don't hear any examples of it. Well, give me an example. Well, you know the thing that you were saying that women are not intelligent enough. They're not generally they're not. Generally they're not, and they're not yeah. well read either. They're not well read. Generally not. No. <laughs> gosh. Oh my gosh! And what is the deal with this 140 pounds? I mean, how well read are you, dear? I'm I'm well read. I went to law school. That doesn't mean you're well read. It means uh, you you you're like a parrot and you memorize things so that you oh, could uh, no, recite them. No, 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 not at all. I'm well read. And but really, you, why do you don't turn? Oh, why don't we uh, why don't we no, test no, that right no. now? How well read are you? This, why why are you? So How well read are you? How well read question. are you? I'm a well read woman. That's all right, we're going to find out I right now. Are you ready? No. Why are you turning? Around? Are you ready? Well, because I like I, I'm going to prove to you that what I'm saying is true, yeah, that that women like you are not that well-read, not that intelligent. And by the way, those who are intelligent are generally fat or fugly. Those that are intelligent are generally fat. That's a general question. It generally, reason, yes, it's the, generalization, it and it's rating? generally is true. Rating? Is it the ratings? Is that what it is? The flat Darling, rating? every radio program wants to get ratings. This one and all That's the right. rest of them, too. All of them. That, that's why that's why you're doing that then that's why all this no i'm just telling there. the truth there that's all i'm doing is telling the truth <laughs> and what is it i'm just really curious please do you have to tell me the truth about this 140 pound thing why don't what you tell me the truth who's running for president next year oh my uh, there's a list of them but yeah i'm, I'm to waiting to hear it let's go I need you to tell me. who's running <laughs> that's where they go running for cover that's like putting kryptonite in front of Superman. Ask a woman who's running for president. Whoa! 
<laughs> she ran for the hills then. <laughs> oh, there's a list of them. <laughs> All right, give us the list. Wah! That would mean I'd have to read the paper. Oh, my God. Good luck, Lisette. one 800 800 tom is our telephone number. I'm talking to the people who hate me. If that's you, call now. Stephanie on the Tom Like a Show. Hello. Hello. Yes. Hi there. Um, the reason I'm calling is because I hate you. Why? And here's the reason. Um, my boyfriend loves your show, and I used to like it. And tonight I was driving home from work, and I heard you make the comment about the the weight and the women. And I know you've gotten a lot of calls from that tonight. I also heard the comment about um, how our intelligence level is not up to men's intelligence level. Generally, it isn't unless you're fat or fugly. That's not true, and I'll tell you why. I'll give you some examples in a minute. However, I know you've gotten called on that, too. Those are the two main reasons I was calling. And honestly, I've never heard you make any comments like that till tonight. And it's... Just, Your boyfriend's you know, heard it. Your boyfriend's heard it. It's just really upsetting to me. Chances are he agrees with me because that's why he listens. Oh, I don't know. He's very intelligent. I'm very intelligent. He's very... Yeah, well, he's very intelligent because he's a regular listener, and chances are he agrees with what I say. That's why he told you to listen. Most of the time, I'm doing better things with my time than listening to radio. However, I only listen on the way home from work. And, okay. That's enough. Being a woman, being a woman and being 5'8 and 140 pounds is perfectly acceptable. If you take a look at that. Well, that's if you look around and everybody else weighs 180. It's perfectly acceptable, I guess, to you. And really, in this country, you look around, most women 5'8 are 180. Well, however, okay, the United States is, unfortunately, um, the most overweight country in the world. So that means we should have a bell curve for you, Well, especially since you're shaped like a bell. No, no, no. I agree that there are a lot of overweight women. And, and men, and I think it's due to the fact that there are so many fast food restaurants around. Well, I don't care place. what the reason is. However. If a man has money, is, power, or fame, he does not have to be with a woman who's fat. No, but this is what I was going to tell you. If you look at a body mass index chart, it will show you a woman that is 5'8", five, 5'9", five, the healthy weight starts at 135. Well, again, and, uh, we're not talking about what healthy weight is. We're talking about what looks good. Well, Okay, if you if you're five eight and one hundred and forty pounds, I promise you that's not overweight. I'm a oh. very very beautiful woman. I'm very intelligent, and oh. I'm I'm sorry. What? Don't don't make me test that. Test it. How test intelligent it. are you? I'm very intelligent. How I'm well not. read are you, dear? I'm okay. Well read. I'm born with natural intelligence. I have a very high IQ. So um, you don't read? I do read when I have time. When you have I, time, which isn't often, and therefore you don't read. I do read. I do read when I have time. You I do? Write poet- I love to write poetry. All right, let's I talk politics here. Let's talk politics. Who's running for president next year, and tell me who you're supporting. Okay. Um, Obama. Obama? Um, What's his first name? <laughs> oh, God. Um... Give me a second. Oh, Hillary Clinton. Hillary Clinton, Obama. Obama. Um, what is Obama's Senator... first name? Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> you had to pick the subject that I'm horrible at. However. Darling, I just oh. picked it out of thin air. Oh, God. And see, so you put me on the spot. And I... This is not an obscure topic. Oh. I didn't ask you to comment on something I saw on the Discovery Channel. It's who's running for president of the United States. Oh, well, okay. The senator from Delaware Senator from Delaware. What's Hillary his name? Clinton. What's the senator from Delaware's name? Um, I don't know. I should know because I watched John Stewart and the Colbert Report. Oh, oh, I'm sure that's today. where you get all your information, too. That's uh, where I get my political information. I'm sure today. you do. Now, uh, what's informed. the name of the senator from Delaware again? I'm, wait, I, let me make a comment. I try and get informed while being entertained because my uh, time limit Because is you're used. incapable of tolerating information on its own. It has to be a joke attached to it. So who is the senator from Delaware again? I don't know, but I'm not intolerant. I'm not. I see. And Obama, intolerant. his first name is what? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't. And know. who is Obama? He is a senator or governor or something. 
I'm no. telling you, after you're that, not sure what he is. Politics. Do you know where he's from? Um, uh, Florida or something. I don't Florida know. or something. What party is he with? He is with the uh, Democratic. You guessing or are you telling me? <laughs> no, no. Listen, you're I not really sure. I want to make one comment. But well, just I'm just not... admit you don't know anything about this subject. Politics, I admit, is my. It's not, not just my this comment. is not this is not who is going to be the mayor of Fort Worth. This is really important. The primaries begin in February. It is really important, but you know what? Honestly, I will. I have never voted. I will never vote. Oh. I well, I want to get. Well, you've never voted for president because you weren't old enough to vote for president. You're 21 years old. I've been old enough for three years. No, but dear, there's been no presidential election in the last three years. Well, any election, anything that has to do with politics, I will not waste my time with. Honestly, I could move to. But I, if you're so intelligent, don't you think you should be aware of it? I am aware as much as I need to know, and as much as I love. Which is not. Which is know. not. Which is almost nothing. Honestly, I could live under a different um, government system. I could live not under a democratic system. Politics. I don't really, honestly, you, care about, but I don't... Do you really think you're thing. demonstrating intelligence by saying you don't know about something? I mean, for example, dear, I'm an atheist. But do you think I don't know what's going on in religious news, for example? I don't even want to start talking about religion. But if you want to talk about another topic... No, dear, I, I picked the topic, and I picked a really broad topic, because you're broad. I picked a broad topic that uh, people know about that is not obscure. Okay, there's so much I want to say right now, but I can't say it on... Because you don't have enough intelligence. I do, I do. Okay, what's your IQ? What's your IQ level? Have you ever taken the time to take an IQ test? Yes, 140, dear. 140. I would like to see that. I would like to see that. Well, darling, I prove it every day. You know what? Unlike you, I demonstrate my intelligence on the air every day. Okay. Um, what about your weight and your looks? I mean, Darling, that wasn't that. the topic. The topic is who's running for president. The answer is you don't know and don't care. Because you're so intelligent, of course. You know, I'm very intelligent. I just told you I'm born with natural intelligence. I'm, I'm a beautiful woman. Well, yeah, well, see, I, that, and that's why you don't know anything about anything, because as a beautiful woman, you don't need to read anything, and therefore you won't. I do know a lot about a lot. It, does, it doesn't seem that way from this phone call. I could sit here on the phone and argue all night long. But About nothing. You don't have any information. You have no ammunition. I just want to make one point, though. Yeah, well, that's make... all because that's all you have. Because with all that intelligence, you don't know anything about anything important, which proves my point. That's not your point. Your point... That is my point. Your point is a broad point saying women are not intelli as intelligent as men. That's horribly wrong. Horribly wrong. And... Your other point of saying 140 is overweight for a woman who's 5'8", which that's horribly wrong, too. Darling, I mean, you've already, now you're repeating yourself. I mean, we still don't know who's running for president. What was the name of that okay. senator from Delaware again? Listen, Hillary Clinton's running, okay, for yeah. the Democratic Party. I will not support her. No. I refuse. Who else is running? Um, uh, I told you Obama, the senator from Delaware... Oh, and, and you don't know who Obama is or what his first name is. The senator from Delaware, you don't know oh, his name. Oh, um, Barack. Barack Obama. Really? Is, Barack who, Obama. Is somebody there with you? No one's here with so me. So you I'm just pulled it out of your ass suddenly after eight minutes on the air. No, you put me on the spot and I can't think straight. I just got done working on the I thought you're so intelligent. Straight. If you're that intelligent, intelligent that shouldn't be taking you aback. You should just have the answer right there. Let me make a point. I was trying All to your think natural and intelligence. clear my mind. I was trying to think and clear my mind. I couldn't think with you. Well, darling, if you're that intelligent, you don't have to clear your mind. You just can spit stuff out. Okay, ask me something else, and I'll be able to tell you with you talking in my ear. I mean, ask me. Barack Obama. And he's, and he's from where again? Yeah. It's the Tom Likas Show.